Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So you're not seeing my face on this screen because it's just been a rough day. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I look like I still rolled out. I still look like I just rolled out of bed. So you don't need to see me for this, but you do need to see what I'm doing on my computer. So um, I am recording this on Tuesday afternoon. And so far, quite a few of your projects have been posted, which I love. And I, a few more people still need to post theirs. Just an FYI, if you were, po first of all, Maylee, so creative. Like how you, I don't even know what that is. Some kind of yarn or something? What is that? Let's see. Something fuzzy, I don't know what, that she used to show the illumination of the moon. I love that. So just in case you were wondering if you were posting yours, like Maylee just has two and Sophia just has two and Tatum has three and Lauren has two and Colby has two and Elena has two in different pictures. This one has three. So you only had to do the two, just so you know, um, in the really long written instructions, which I know had a lot of details in them and in my actual video that explained the project. I said, you only had to, I said, you could fold your paper in half. I literally said that it looks like Maylee actually did it, but one on one side, one on the other. So if you did extra kudos to you, but I didn't want those of you who only had two to panic and think, oh my gosh, I did it wrong because you didn't, you actually followed instructions beautifully. So uh, I love the creativity on some of these, um, really well done. So I will go back and add comments there. Probably by the time you watch this video, there may be comments. I don't know. I'm behind on grading anyway. Okay, so for today, what you're going to do for science is you're going to go back to your interactive notebook. So I graded all the ones that were turned into me. I sent an email to some of your parents because I still can't grade yours because it's not turned into me. So if you don't have yours to do this tomorrow, or if you still have it, oh, John's just popped up. That's cool. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, if you have yours because you didn't turn it in, then you'll be able to do this assignment. So um, after this assignment is done though, I need yours to be turned in, but let's, let, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm like, okay, I need to go to my interactive notebook. Now I returned them to you. So they are either still in, I'm gonna go to the classroom. Oh, okay, you guys were supposed to have turned them in please pay attention to this or write this down or something because I know I'm going to get a million questions about this. <sighs> it's exhausting. It's okay. Thursday, April 9th. Everybody say it out loud. Thursday, April 9th. No, I didn't hear you say it. Thursday, April 9th. Science, interactive notebook activity. Uh, watch the video. Be sure to watch all the way to the end so you know what's due today. Okay. You were supposed to turn in your actual at this point, I've only graded nine. I have more to grade. I have 20 more to grade. Oh, somebody else must have turned theirs in. That's great. Um, so I will be staying up late and doing that tonight. So you guys will have these, but you will either get it here. And this is the only part I'm not 100% sure of because I don't see the student sign. You either have to go back to Thursday, April 9th, open it up and, and retrieve it there because I have graded it and returned it to you. Or maybe you just go back into your, um, I would start there. Or um, what I'm going to do to go to mine is I'm just going to open a new tab. I'm going to go to my Google Drive. I'm going to, sorry, mine's a little slow. Let's see here. In my drive, I have a gazillion folders. Um, it's thinking. It's a thinking. Okay. I'm going to go to my classroom folder, which I'm assuming you guys have a folder like that. That has all your Google Classroom stuff in it. I don't know. And then for all the Google Classrooms I'm connected to, you should only have one. That's a sixth grade. And then when I go into sixth grade, I have my stuff organized into Miss Chat and I have organized it all. So this is all my science stuff in this where I'm keeping my notebook. So I'm going to open my notebook with however you get to your notebook, either through the April 9th. What day was that again? April 9th activity where I returned it to you. If that's where you turned it in, because and you, if you didn't turn it in, I cannot grade it. Okay, do not share it with me. Everybody say that. Do not hit the share button. Do not share. Say it again. Do not share. Sharing it with me doesn't turn it in and it doesn't allow me to attach a grade to it. Okay, I can't, I could go in and edit it, but I can't grade it. So do not share. It's one of those things where you go into the assignment, you click attach, just like when you guys attach pictures and you guys do a great job of attaching pictures of your work. You're just going to be attaching your interactive notebook. Okay, so 
last time I showed you what to do, we did chapter four, the seasons and the tilts. We did all this lovely stuff together. Today, you're going to go all the way to page 25 and you're going to go to the moon. Um, let's see here. This is my zoom in, right? Let's go to 50% for now. Okay, so there's a couple of pages you're going to do for the moon. Click on my next page. This first one says label the phases of the moon. And it doesn't tell you specifically, well, it doesn't give you a word bank, but um, so all you're going to be doing is typing in. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Okay, so we know that this is, you click on it, there should be a text box there. So this is a new moon. Okay, this one. Okay, so here's something else I noticed on your projects. And please don't anybody freak out over them. I'm going to grade them very generously because we weren't in class to learn this together and to really practice it together. But one of the things I think probably over half of you missed is the difference between waxing and waning. So in one of the videos, I was saying wax on, wax on, wax on, which is a goofy phrase from Karate Kid. But the reason I like it is because you start with new moon where basically the moon is quote unquote off. But as it starts to come on, meaning the light is coming on, it's not really the light coming on, but it's just a way to help remember it. It's waxing on. So as this, you had a new moon, but now a little bit of the edge of the moon is starting to be illuminated. It's waxing on. This is a waxing crescent. Waxing crescent. It's not a wane. So you guys uh, um, on your projects, uh, probably over half of you have your waxing and waning backwards. If the light, this is important, especially because we have a quiz on Thursday, if the illuminated part is on the right, it is waxing. So this is a waxing crescent. This is a first quarter. Okay, and then this is a full moon, obviously. Okay, so then if I, and, and I'll, there's another page here, we'll go over it. Again, this is this if it was a waxing, if you use the word waxing, this would be a waxing because it's coming on again and then it's full. And then once the dark starts to appear on the right hand side, then it's starting to wane. And the word waning means that it's starting to go away. And so the light is starting to go away and the shadow starts to move from right to left. It's not really a shadow, but you know what I mean. OK, so new moon waxing crescent. It's waxing on the light is coming on. It's to the, the lights to the right, it's waxing. Okay, then this one, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller now, go back to 50%. Okay, it tells you to drag and drop the moon images in their correct positions on the diagram. Use the smaller half moons to indicate where the moon is during each phase. So basically all of these little small ones, you're going to click and drag M. I'm going to go ahead and just do each um, quarter first so I can line things up. So remember, it's always... This moon, oops, the moon is always facing the same side, right? So this, this is the side that's being lit. This is the side that's not. So you're always laying, and then I'm gonna put my little, once you get your four corners in, then you can place the other ones, right? Like this, as best as you can. Kind of helps you here, as you can see all the little lines that are helping me line it up, okay. So, so once you've got those placed, they're not perfect, but they're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Okay, so then from Earth right here, if, if the moon is between the Earth and the sun, all the lit part, the far side of the moon is the part that's illuminated and we're only seeing, we're seeing nothing. So how do I show a new moon? Oh, this is the new moon. It's kind of gray. So you can see it's not as bright. So this is our new moon, okay? So now over here, as we move to the next position, this is gonna be a good review of waxing and waning. Uh, if I'm standing on earth, I'm starting to see a, this little bit of light appear. So this is a waxing crescent and the light is on the right. Well, I like all the little lines that help you light it up. That's kind of cool. Okay, so this is a waxing crescent. The light is coming on. There was no light. Now the light, light is coming on on the right. It's waxing on. I probably scooch this up a little bit more. I don't know. Something like, oh, there we go. Okay. Then the wax is the waxing, the wax. I guess you could call it the wax. The light or the wax is halfway. When I'm standing here on earth and I look, I see the right half is lit. The left half is, is not. This is first quarter. 
Okay, and now as I'm standing here, I'm going to be able to see a lot more of the light now. So this is called a waxing gibbous. Waxing gibbous. The gibbous is when it's thicker. Obviously, the crescent, you guys know, half is easy. Gibbous is the other one. But this is a waxing gibbous because it's getting larger. I need to get my other guys. Okay, then I go to a full moon because now from Earth, I can see the fully illuminated side. Now it's going to start to wane. And the first thing it does is it's a waning gibbous because a little from Earth, I'm starting to see a little bit of shade come up on the right. See how when you're standing at it, the lit part is on the right. You're staring at it, it's on the right, it's on the right. And now over here, the dark part is on the right. That might help you too. Then you go to third quarter, and then you go to a waning crescent. And then you're back to the, the last of the waning, the last of the shadow or darkness falls, and you're to new moon. So these are the proper phases. It's wax on, wax on, wax on, full moon, wane, 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 new moon. It's really important you guys get your waxing and your waning straight. Don't worry about your projects. I'm, I'm going to be gracious on that. Um, okay, last thing you're going to do here is use the circle tool to draw the types of tides that occur at the phases of the moon below and then label them. So first thing I'm going to do, go ahead and label this. We know from what we learned about tides that this is a spring tide. Okay, and some of you guys on the questions that you had to answer after class, some of you got these mixed up. The spring is when they're lined up. You've got full moon and new moon. And you've got a lot more gravity from the sun and the earth. I'm sorry, the sun and the moon are lined up. So the gravitational pull is stronger. This is the neap tide when they are at a 90 degree angle to each other. And so they kind of offset each other's uh, gravity, the gravitational pull. So those neap tides are not as large. And so they want to use the circle tool. Let's see if I can do that. So on, I'm going to pull up a oval. Well, actually, I think it's just the circle. Okay, and then I'm going to try to draw. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, so obviously, it's covering it. So if you right click, well, this is tricky, and do format. Uh oh. Let's see if I can do this. Mm. Um, shoot, shoot, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's, I want it to not be full. Hang on, size, no, position, no, text fitting, no, drop shadow. Oh, okay, under drop shadow, if you just do white, no, that's not right. If you do, no, okay, there we go. Nope. <laughs> Darn it. How do I make it not be filled? Uh, reflection? Nope. No, oh, good night. Okay, Ms. Offit may have to make a second video here in a second because I'm trying to figure out how to make that. I should have practiced this ahead of time. I thought I could figure it out. Okay, so I will make one more short video once I figure this out. So for now, <laughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and then I'll do one more short one um, and then I'll explain what you need to do next. All right. Watch the next video.